You know that eerie, ghostly green glow you've seen in old photos? That's the forbidden glow people used to obsess over. Radium. And yeah, it was as dangerous as it was cool. Quick rewind to 1898. Marie and Pierre Curie are in a lab, crushing literal tons of pitch blend to isolate something new. After months of backbreaking chemistry, they pull out a tiny speck that glows in the dark. Radium. It's so energetic, it warms itself and lights up photographic plates without any help. Instant science, then history gets wild. Early 1900s, companies mix radium into paints, face creams, even health tonics. Soldiers' watch dials painted so they could read them at night. The workers who painted those dials, mostly young women, were told to lick their brushes to make a sharp point. They literally ingested radium. Their bones absorbed it like calcium. The radium girls got sick, spoke up, and changed worker safety laws forever. It's a heartbreaking chapter that saved lives later. But radium wasn't all quack cures. Doctors realized its radiation could kill tumors. Early brachytherapy used tiny sealed radium sources placed near cancers. Today, we mostly use safer isotopes like iridium-192 or cesium-131, but radium helped kickstart radiation oncology. So what's radium doing now? Mostly not in your house, thankfully. It shows up as a calibration source in labs in sealed neutron sources when paired with beryllium, and it's a lesson in how we regulate hazardous tech. And if you've got a vintage glow-in-the-dark clock or compass from the early 20th century, don't crack it open. The paint can still be radioactive a century later, my favorite weird detail, radium's glow isn't pure magic. It excites other materials, which then fluoresce. That spooky shine, it's physics showing off. The big takeaway, curiosity plus caution. Radium-powered breakthroughs and painful lessons. Respect the science, respect the safety, and never chase the glow without protection. If you learn something, tap, like so more people see this. Got a wild science myth you want me to test next? Drop it in the comments. And hit subscribe for more bite-sized deep dives. New stories every week. Stay curious, not radioactive.